I was fired because my personal business was taking over my nine to five job. Over the past few weeks, some decisions have been made. Today will unfortunately be your last day. For the last year, I've been trying to run my own agency. My engagement and attention to my nine to five was falling and the company had started to notice. I was stuck in this endless loop of starting off strong and then falling off, landing me in the same position every time. But I'm seeing this as an opportunity an opportunity to go all in, and I'm going to be documenting my entire journey from being fired to financial freedom. The goal is to go from zero to $50,000 a month, and I wanna bring you guys along for the journey. Hey guys, today is Tuesday the 4th of June. So yeah, past couple of days have been a massive struggle. I've been feeling very, very stressed. Just, it's one of those times where just everything is kind of all happening at once. I mentioned in the last episode about my client that I kind of thought was going to cancel. He messaged me yesterday, basically saying, hey, look, we need to st step up the pace. Otherwise, like, I don't think we can continue. So there's a couple of deals in the pipeline as well that have closed. So we're like, we do a lot of commission from them, but he's gone a bit quiet on that. And I don't know if he's thinking like, because we're not getting him leads, he's not going to pay that. I hope that's not the case. It's probably like minimum 5k of commission there. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll handle that. As well, it, it just feels like none of my campaigns are doing well at the minute. I can't think of any campaign right now that's actually doing well. And we have moments like this. I've had times where I feel like everything's falling down and then we pick it back up again. I know this is one of those situations again, and like all we can do is just keep moving forward, but it doesn't make it any easier. Obviously, with this being my business and my only source of income, as much as we're earning good money right now, like that can change very, very quickly. And I think what a lot of you have to appreciate as well is like, okay, it's 20K a month or 17 and a half, whatever it is in the minute. That's revenue. That's not like money earned. We've got expenses, you know, got a staff member to pay for, etc. So, you know, that's something to factor in. The other thing as well that's like really stressing me out is my employee. So like my gut feeling is telling me she needs to go because it's just not a good combination. I don't think she's putting as much effort in as she should. I don't think that she's as committed as she should be. Like I'm starting to build a picture of how this person operates. And it's like, that, that's not the kind of person I want in my business. You know, this is the person that's going to hopefully work their way up the company and start to have more responsibility. But yeah, like that's stressful because I also have, we have a 30 day policy. So it's just money. And I need to think about cash flow. One of our other clients is still paused. And I spoke to her today and they look like they're going to still pause for another month. Again, lesson learned. I need something in my contract to stop people pausing like straight away but what are we going to do about it we have to just keep moving forward that's all we can do and to try and figure out the best next move morning guys today is wednesday the 5th of june it's like half seven at the moment trying to get a better morning routine i think mornings where i lose a lot of time at the moment so trying to get up earlier trying to get to bed earlier just to optimize the day so first thing we have to do in the morning is go to the gym i also signed up for a marathon uh, a couple of months ago Never done any running really before. We'll see how that one goes, but I need to be training for that as well. But yeah, plan is let's just get really optimized. Just do everything we can, try and get some high leverage tasks done and try to start building momentum. I've also just thought, fuck it, I'm buying the office space again, like it's 220 or something a month. And as much as like financially, that might not be a good thing to do right now. It's an investment. I was there yesterday and I got so much more done. So we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, Wednesday evening, um, just got back from a run. I uh, only did like four miles today. My knee's been absolutely destroyed from doing 10 miles the other day and yeah obviously got 26 miles to run in September had a productive day well I very much feel like we're still in that danger zone because we, we haven't made any actual progress as much as we're doing work you know nothing is immediate like when you put work into something or like so a month ago obviously you had my separation which indefinitely caused me to like I couldn't focus for a few weeks at all and I think this is the result of that in a way. A month ago, we didn't, we weren't putting in as much work as we should have done. And then now we're feeling the effects of that. So if we're putting in more work now, we're not going to feel the positive effects straight away. It's going to take, you know, a month or two to start to see that. With regards to my employee, I, I'm going to have to fire her. It's come to the end of the month's trial. We said we're going to do like a trial period. And I just, I do not, I just don't have a good feeling about it. If she's doing the inbox is great. Like, replying and doing all that stuff when it comes to the other stuff like the soft skills the honesty the uh integrity and just kind of like transparency of what's going on i get really really bad feelings and like i have to listen to my gut you know because i'm setting the tone of how i'm gonna keep my company moving forward and if i just think oh fuck it she'll she'll do or they'll do or whatever i'm disrespecting my business massively hey paulina hey ben so obviously you've been with us for a month now we had our one month trial period and to be honest there's no easy way to say this but i don't think there's going to be a good fit for 
for us to move forward on this. I think your handling the inboxes, everything like that on, on that side has been really good. But I think there's just been some communication issues between the two of us. We have to move quickly. You know, we've had another client drop as well. And I think at this time, it doesn't make financial sense to continue. So in our contract, obviously, it said 30 day notice period. So this is the 30 day periods. So I hope you can understand from our perspective as well that this is not a personal thing whatsoever. And I appreciate the situation that you're in right now. No, no, so, no. Okay. Thank you very much, Ben. No, it's all good. And thank you for everything. Sure. Thank all right. you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. I haven't got my uh, microphone into the audio might be quite bad, but um, I think that went very well. Actually, I was quite nervous to, to do that, but big weight lifted off my shoulders there. I think, you know, trying to help her to find something else. I pre is, is rubbish being let go. So I help try and help out. Like she's been really good on the inbox side of things. So, you know, if there's another company that needs that, we can help out with that. Hey guys, Thursday morning today. So just got back from the gym and planning to start work in a minute. Planned my entire day yesterday, what are gonna be the best tasks we can do to kind of start building that momentum again. So first thing we're doing today is doing the campaign for database superstars, just to make sure that they don't drop. We need to make sure they're getting some leads through. That's kind of main priority. Then we're doing a new campaign for Graph Hub and a new campaign for Tumble. So my new client block shift, it's one of those moments where a new client's campaigns just aren't doing well. Not not really getting responses, seemingly hard to reach the inboxes. So they're targeting insurance companies. So need to do some experimentation there, but it's a horrible feeling when you launch a new campaign for a client. They're excited, you're both excited, and nothing seems to happen. We've been using a new email provider and they're meant to be like best in class and they are to be fair, but they've been really fucked up. Something to do with Outlook accounts recently has gone wrong and they had to take 10 of the accounts away. So as I said the other day, everything just seems to be going wrong all at once so uh yeah hopefully we're climbing out of that now i forgot to mention i spent two days coming up with a new like automated system because i thought like i can make my systems a lot better so i thought personalization in an email is obviously really key and it's often quite a hard thing to actually do. So I built something that is using not chat GPT, but something called Claude. And Claude is like kind of like another AI platform, but it's very conversational, sounds very human, which is great. What I've done is built a flow where it, the client we're working with, we get them to give us all their information. And then with that information, we can put it into our table. And then for every prospect, we then go on their website, scrape all of the information on their website, and we look for correlations between the pain point that we're solving and anything on the website that might indicate that they're struggling with that pain point. What that allows us to do is to have mass personalization for every single prospect almost immediately. And it's very, very cost effective because this has turned out to be quite expensive in the past doing any kind of personalization. And it's really helped to systematize the process of like coming up with ideas for personalization and actually just doing the personalization because it seems to work for every prospect at the moment. And uh, one final thing is that my fractional sales leader partner guy company flew him out to have a discussion and that looks like it might be going ahead so fingers crossed but i'm feeling very positive i've got like this positive energy of like we're we're climbing out the hole and we're, we're getting to where we need to be i think a big weight lifted letting go of my staff member i may even just keep her on to do the inboxes we'll see because she's a bit upset obviously it's not nice being let go so but obviously for a fraction of the price so we'll see i'm thinking about that but yeah that's the plan for today um, and I'll keep you updated. Right, Thursday evening. We had a very productive day. We're definitely starting to build momentum again. We got our first lead through for our new client block shift. That's always a really, really good feeling. And then I went out with a couple of friends, came back, and we got another lead come through for them as well. That takes a lot of pressure off. So we got another lead through from Tumble as well. Unfortunately, the database superstars campaign still not getting anywhere. But yeah, I mean, any progress is good progress. I've set up a new campaign for Graph Hub, two new campaigns with much better personalization. Really happy with how they're looking, very cool campaigns. So they go live tomorrow, fingers crossed, it's gonna to start to get some leads for them. And yeah, we'll just keep this momentum going, start building back up. Hopefully by the end of the month, we're gonna have our client that pours back online as well. Hopefully should have another client from the fractional sales leader. So like starting to get back into that safety zone. Just gotta make sure I don't take my foot off the gas at all. And yeah, we're gonna get there. Today is Monday the 10th of June. So we got a lot done today. We're very much still in the danger zone, um, really feeling 
feeling that right now. As much as we're starting to build momentum, I'm still really feeling like nothing's quite clicking yet. And I think it's going to take some time. First of all, Database Superstars, their campaign, we've sent like 3,000 emails and their campaign is still not doing well at all. The way I see it, we've got about 10 days until their next payment. So I think we've really got 10 days to make something happen. We've tried going back through the old leads, albeit I did try that with a new strategy. So maybe I'm going to try just the old strategy that did work. But yeah, it's very, very strange. For context, we had like 3% reply rates before, 3 to 4%. Now it's like 0.1%. We've got new email accounts. So I don't know what the issue is, but hopefully we can make that work. So my new client, Blockshift, their campaign launched last week, last Monday. We've got three leads for them, one meeting booked, which is good. A prospect that I was really hopeful as well that was going to go ahead said to me today that they're not going to go forward. He said he's gone with a different marketing strategy just purely based on the cost. I think we pitched him four and a half thousand, so it's quite expensive. He said, if it doesn't work out, I'm going to be the first person he talks to. So I don't want to say fingers crossed it doesn't work out, but we'll see how that goes. And I think the final thing that I need to do is I'm setting up new email accounts for myself because we're just, again, my own campaigns are doing nothing. It's really weird. I don't know what's going on. We're not getting any traction anywhere. All things considered, we're not in a bad place at all right now, but we just need to make sure that we kind of maintain that and we don't slip back too far. The other thing I need to start focusing on is making sure that my like my financial organization in the business is terrible right now. I need to be doing profit and loss. I've got no idea really what's coming in. I've got no idea what's going out. And I think having an understanding of this stuff is really key to be able to understanding your cash flow, understanding when you need to panic, when you can afford stuff, etc. And I don't think you're really running a business until you do that. Like you're just kind of winging it and that's not a way to sustainably scale your business so definitely something we need to do but i'm going to leave this video here so if you did enjoy the video please remember to drop a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video